All right, today I'm going to install this Hromi Extended Tank Drain Assembly. Okay, so we got some Teflon tape, we got an adapter, and we got the hose. So the hose has our ball valve on the end already. As you can see, we are closed now, and now it's open. It's a pretty simple operation. We got a nice steel braiding on here, and a quarter 20 elbow on the bottom, and everything already has pipe dope on it, so this is ready to install. So all these threads are quarter inch, so if you need to unthread anything or thread anything on, it's all quarter inch. But if you have something that's a 3 8 so if your tank is a 3 8 you can just attach that and then go to that bigger thread. So I'm using a little pancake craftsman compressor and this thing doesn't work anymore. So there could be water in here, there could be compression still, so I wanna make sure that I empty this tank just by connecting something to it and pulling it and making sure that it's empty. And now we can take this guy out. Now you might wanna have a bucket under here in case there is some water, so I'm gonna do that. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, no water. Now normally I would put some Teflon tape or some PTFE or whatever you want to call it, but because this already has the pipe dope, I'm just going to install it exactly like this. Now if I have to, I can remove this hose if this is getting in the way. Okay, so I'm going to want this to be just underneath this foot so it can come out the front. Something like that. There we go. Okay. So now I have access to drain this thing without trying to reach my fingers back here. On top of that, this will work where this thing has failed. I'll always take a ball valve over one of these little guys. And I'm just gonna use some soapy water. I'm gonna check for any bubbles. So if there was an air leak, it would be making bubbles all over the place right now. So we are good. And then all we got left to do, let's take a bucket, put it underneath here. Open this. That's how we drain the water. Much easier. 